Okay, so um, I'm going to be super quick about re-saying what I did before because I forgot to click on the record button. I, I apologize for that. So very quickly, uh, this is a session to present uh, Wiki Loves uh, Women, She Said campaign. So the starting point is on the Meta portal. There's a collection of um, links I advise you to have a look at. There are information about the previous participation and the one which makes sense for you at the moment or the one about the She Said 2022. And I will go back to, to about this uh, later, but I highly recommend you go and have a look in the resources and tools. And in the resources and tools, you have queries that allows you to track what's going on in your language. Uh, as long as people added the she said hashtag to at least one edit in the article. Uh, so I highly recommend you be careful adding it at least once. And we will, I will show you also how to do it later. Um, otherwise, you have the list of currently participating uh, ling lingual linguistic communities. So those are Italian, Ukrainian, French, Spanish, English, Catalan, Bengali, Igbo, Central Bicol and Tagalog, which are still in incubator. Uh, and I think that's it. So you can go and have a look to the other language to see what's going on. At the moment, uh, we have a lot of participation on the, I, I didn't check all languages, but in particular, the Italian, Ukrainian and Igbo were very, very strong in contribution. Uh, so if you want to have a look at how they do it, uh, in some cases, their portal page is super simple. Uh, here's the, the list for this year, that's all they did. They did the red list and they filled up the red list. Uh, in other cases, the, the portal is more advanced, more complicated. This is in particular the case of the English one. So um, this is, uh, I will first show you how to create an entry on the English wiki quote, and then I will do the same on the French wiki quote. So English wiki quote simply type enwikiquote.org, she said, or you do it by starting from the meta page. And this is the home page for the project in 2022. And on this page, if you look at it, it's fairly long. We have at the same time, the link to the other portals. We have a list of participants. Uh, we have a list of things to do. We have the list of articles created in improved and some information about how to share and, and maybe uh, Afek later can give us a little moment, take, take a little moment to explain to you what she's doing in terms of our communication. But for now, for, before you start, I highly suggest if you're running an editor turn, when people have created their account and logged in for the first time, advise them to go to please log in and go to their preferences and when they are in preferences they need to go to beta features beta features and on beta features they i suggest they activate the second beta feature which is visual editing this will allow them to do edit not only in code mode but also in in a visual mode which is usually much easier for some people. Um, so this is not activated by default. So do remember to tell uh, your colleagues to activate it. Once this is done, you can go back to the main page. If you're an organizer, what I suggest is you anticipate by preparing list of suggestions for your participants because people, they, they might have ideas, they might really want to write about this topic, or they might have no idea. So in this case, you can prepare them red list. And here we have some a list of things to do. Boom. For example, uh, some stubs to improve, some articles to improve, some biographies to create, uh, and you can do your own red list. So in particular, I recommend that you have a look at this link. This is something that has been prepared by Ayla, 
And I'm fairly sure that if you ask her nicely, she will help you to do the same. So let's have a look very quickly here for the list of red links. What she did is a collection of queries for four countries. So she did only Kenya, Namibia, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. Uh, but she can certainly do more. Uh, so what she has been doing is a collection of queries of women from a country listed on Wikidata. So that's this query. And out of these women, how many of them are on the English wiki quote? Only 27 of them. And out of these women, uh, how many are listed or have an entry on Wikipedia and Swahili? So I think it's and uh, as a union, right? Not on both. So what is interesting is, remember, I told you that any entries you create needs to have an article on Wikipedia. So here you can have the list of all entries about Kenya, from women from Kenya, which are currently on the English Wikipedia, which means you can work on these ones because they are already considered notable enough. If they are not listed here, you first need to start writing an article on Wikipedia about these women. It's a slightly more complicated, why not? But here, at least you have this. So if you run the query here, if you have the query here, uh, execution, result, that's your list. Uh, and by default, I am in French, so sorry, there are some terms that appear in French here. But for example, um, Catherine, Catherine de Reba, uh, she's in English and she's in Swahili and she's a runner. So, and she doesn't have an entry. So I'm not sure it makes sense to do an entry on Wikiquote about her because maybe she said nothing that was relevant. But maybe this one, Moana Kupona, she's a writer. Chen says that she could be worth it uh, to be added because she wrote some books and you could, you could get quotes from her books. So you can use these queries. Um, there's, yeah, there's no Wikiquote quota for Swahili, but you can work on those and see it's quite significant in Kenya. It could be worse. In Namibia, this is only 146 articles or only, for example, in English, Africans, German. Uh, in South Africa, there are more. Mm -hmm. And in, in Zimbabwe, it's only 200, yeah, only 32 women on Wikicode. So you can dig into this, these queries to help you identify some red lists that could be interesting for your team. Or you can do it manually if you want to start a red list about anything like, I don't know, environment. Well, just do your list. So here we have a bunch of lists that were established in the past. I don't know how much they were updated, but you see all of those used to be red. And the good news that now many of them are red or blue. So this is some of the work we have been doing in the past two, two years. So if I look for Rwanda in particular, since we have Rwanda friends here, well, we have a short list with only six red links for Rwanda. So if you want to prepare an advanced red list, this is the place where you can do it. All right. Uh, and, and again, do not take as personal if some country have only one name. It's only the people who came. It, it's not us who did it um, systematically for every country. It's some people showed up and, and put some names there. So it can be helpful. So once you have an idea what you want, you want to, write, to write on, remember, you can also improve already existing article. That's fine. And you do not have to only write on biographies. You can also write on topics. So one of the examples I used yesterday, because um, I am a Wikipedian in residence at WIPO, and we were uh, wondering creativity, for example, uh, we added yesterday a couple of quotes and we thought of what about adding something to the creativity article entry on Wikicode. And if you look at the creativity one, there's only one woman, or well, two together, 
mentioned, mentioned, mentioned somewhere at the bottom. Alexandra wrote, there's a, here one quote about creativity that comes from a woman's book. Otherwise, I don't know. If, uh, otherwise, it seems that everyone here is a male. So you can also consider adding some entries to themes instead of biographies. That's fine. It's up to you. Um, there you go. So things to do. You can look at the, the help pages can be useful. The guide to layout is fairly simple. I will show you immediately. And you can also create, have some recent changes related to a specific type of women. There you go. Once you have an idea what happens, you have several possibility. One of which is simply to add the name of the person you want to create an article here. Uh, I don't know one, so maybe I need to grab any type of link just for the fun. I don't know, Sydney Powell. All right. So let's say I want to create an article about Sydney Powell. I can do it this way. I can enter in the search box. So search box will show me a red link because there is no article about Sydney. Then I simply click on Sydney. But here's what happened. When you do that, of course, you have a completely, completely empty page. And this is very scary because uh, what are we supposed to write? How are we supposed to write? Very complicated. So you can do it this way when you're used to it, but I, I personally recommend a different tactic. Maybe when you're, you are doing your 10th uh, biography, maybe you can do that, but probably not for the first one. So the first thing you want to do is to look at how are these pages actually structured? And the good news, all of them are structured basically the same way. So let's go and look at uh, another page. And remember that the best way we can do things on Wikipedia or Wikicode is look at how was it done in other pages and just you know stick to that. So let's pick up an example of someone, I don't know, A.B. Kelly. A.B. Kelly. Okay, so A.B. Kelly, an American abolitionist. Okay, we are, it's a very happy day. Um, so every article is structured the same way. First, there is a cap. The cap is a short introduction about the person. And as you will notice, it's, it's always pretty short. It's not as long as a Wikipedia uh, introduction, it's shorter. And um, there's, always normally a link to the Wikipedia article. So that immediately when the Wikicode people see the, uh, the, the entry, they know that the article was already considered notable enough to be on Wikipedia and that's fine. So you can make sure that your introduction mentioned that. Um, how to write this little cap? Well, to be honest, in most cases, people will get, will get inspiration from the equivalent article on Wikipedia. So they just get there, got there. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but it looks like the same, right? Yes, except for here, this entire paragraph was kept as is. So you can do the same thing. Then the second paragraph will be about the quotes from her. It can be what she said, or it can be what she wrote because here you will also find if she's a writer, it will be the quotes from her book as well. It can be in, it, I don't know who is making noise. Okay. So it can be quotes from her that she wrote or that she said. And then we can have an, another uh, section that is quotes about the person. So it can be quotes about um, some people who wrote a critic, for example, a criticism or a, a book, a biography written by a third party about the person. And sometimes you may also find yet another section, which is about misattributed quotes. This is in particular the case, and that is unfortunately quite frequent for, for women, 
uh, quotes that were attributed to a man, and that is well known, quote, attributed to a man, but in fact, it was said by a woman. So there will be a special section to mention that. That happens. And usually a last one, which is about external links. Sometimes there is nothing there. Sometimes there is one or two links. Uh, it can also include, it's a good idea, a direct link to the Wikipedia article. Even though it's there, can also include the link to the Wikimedia Commons article as uh, entry category. Uh, all that can happen. And as you will notice, a bunch of, of links to interesting articles on the topic directly within the, the article. Molly, you need to re stop. I'm, I'm shutting up, Molly. Sorry, Molly. You're off. Okay. Um, if I take another one, Suzette Laflèche. This is a French speaking. So Suzette Laflèche. Uh, this one was structured. Uh, it's structured exactly the same way. The additional elements. We also have the picture. Usually, it's a good idea to have a picture. And here you can see that we can also put not only things she said but also things she wrote in one of her book. So we have the mix of the two type of elements. And every quote is basically structured the same way. We have the quote and we have the source. So I couldn't really find something super structured in way the quotes are sourced, but generally it seems like a link to the book or to the page followed by the, the context, such as the journal and the date, seems to be the most frequent way of, of um, tracking elements. Uh, if I take yet another example, maybe of an old, old one so that we have something bigger. Uh, uh, maybe not the crown. I don't know. Yes, I don't have it. So if I take the example of Yasmin Mohammed, so something that should be done but is not being done at the moment. Um, um, I need a I need a French author. Um, So I wanted to show you how to do it for translation, but I'm not sure the English Wikipedia is so good about this. But normally, how do you manage when the, the quote was made in a different language? Call it. That's OK, Molin. I muted you. <laughs> uh, OK, Colette. So she's French. And of course, when she said something, she said it in French. And this is not done here. That's, that sucks. So I'm going to explain what we normally should do. When the quote was made in the different languages, the recommendation is to write the quote at the same time in the original language, then second, a translation in the local quote, and then the source. Because quotes are super short elements and, um, you need to put the original just in case to avoid confusion. So here, they are not doing it. I think it's wrong, but um, it should. I will show you on the French wiki on the French wiki code how we do it. This is bad. Anyway, uh, so as you see, always same structure: quotes and quotes about her and then external links. And that's it. So since the structure is always very simple, the idea came to not create an article from scratch, but to use a template. So where can you find a template? Uh, it's just above here at the beginning of the section, things you can do, you have the possibility to enter a new article, to create entirely a new article from scratch. Okay, so here you enter the name of the person. This is, of course, a fake person, other person. And then it will open the page 
with um, a, a, a fake, a fake biography that will help you identify what you should be adding. Please note that this is in uh, Wikicode, but the Wikicode is quite simple. So it's not a big deal. And what I suggest you do is that you do not try to edit it all at once and not only saving once everything is perfect. Do a first version, do a first you know, level of content, save it. And then once it's saved the first time, you can go directly to visual editing, which is simpler in particular for the links, if you're not used to that. So here, what do we find? The cap, the introduction. Then we have the section about the quote here. And then we have the section about quotes about the person. And then we have the external links. And then those are the categories and template. So for example, if I wanted, if I wanted to do a test, I would put my intro here. You see, it would be the name of uh, Abitruc Mush. And I would have the link to the Wikipedia article, which is Abitruc Mush. Uh, and then I would put my quotes. And here my quote, and you have the example here. Let me scroll down so that you see better. Uh, you have first option one. This is an English quote. You put first line, the English quote. Second line, um, any type of source that can help, co-authors, uh, citation, that where was it taken, interview books, anything. Any additional notes. And if it's a quote, a quote that was not in English primary, as you can see in this template, it mentions very well, the first line should be the version of the quote in the original language for uh, in the uh, original language followed by the English translation by yourself or by anyone, followed by the sourcing information. And that's about it. You don't need to go in more details than that. Uh, it's a little bit similar if we want, for example, to have quotes about a person, same thing. The quote and, and uh, the source. That's about it. Again, since this can be a little bit scary, I highly recommend that you do not necessarily uh, enter absolutely everything and risk losing your work. At some point, you save it. Once it's saved, you can further improve. So if we take an example of, I don't know, a, a, a new one, Lungo. If I take Lungo, you can see that this is really a stub. There's only the basics that was added. We did that just in case. Shonda uh, Piwa Malena. All right. So what did she do? She added the little introduction, sorry, the little introduction here that is probably taken from the Wikipedia article. Then there's a quote here. And then there's a source here and an external link to the Wikipedia article. And she added a collection of categories, runners, Botswana, women, women in sports, birth, living people. And there you go, you have the article here. Do we have any questions at this point? Please stand up, get in the room or ask the question um, in the chat if you can't speak up. We thank you very much, friends. I have one question of curiosity. I would, I would like, I like to ask you if quotation don't don't have bon, ne doit pas avoir des info box. There is no info box for quotation articles. Not in French. Not in English. Not in English. Not in English. Not in English. No, they don't. Mm. Ah, 
but it is not very complicated if you look at it because then afterwards you put yourself in edit right and i want to add my new quotes here this is a new quote and then i say um i don't know um newspaper blah blah and date 10th december 2021 and then i want to put the link here i select newspaper i go to link and i put the link to the external website uh, such as example oh. okay i put a whatever external link and there you go i'm done this is not complicated if if it's if it was in a different language this is a uh, um, do, 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 do. that was the original language. This is the new quote in English. And this is a newspaper. I just need to, and that's it. So in English, you don't have an info box, but it's very simple to write. So that's why I suggest that you start in the uh, in the creation mode, and then afterwards, when you're saved, you do it directly from here. It's easier. And uh, on the left hand side, on the right hand side, you have the picture. It's simply added on the right hand side, and that's it. So, for example, I don't know if this person has. Uh, do we have a picture of that person in the real life? Oops, not here. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, so that's a bad example because we want a picture. Uh, Melissa, bad example, no picture. Uh, we went to a, an earlier one who had a picture, Abby. So if I want to add the picture, I only need to put myself in edit and then I can simply, you know, I can change the images from here. You can do a search about the person. Try to find the person. Can move around. I can pick up some external picture or internal picture. I can add some alternative text and so on directly from here. So I don't think we really need a, a an info box, but there is no such thing here than an, uh, as an info box. It's the page is kept pretty simple. And I think it's okay because we have the link to the Wikipedia article anyway with the info box. Okay. Merci. Mm. Uh, and every language I looked at, they don't use the info box from memory. Uh, let me check quickly, close a few pages. Um, if I look, for example, to the Italian one, If I pick up, oops, any entry I wrote this year, see it's only a picture. And here they do it pretty much the same way. You have the quote, like here you have the name of the books and that's it. So no, none of them seem to have chosen to have info boxes. And that's one of the benefits of the project, actually, is that it stays quite simple in terms of edition, whilst usually the info boxes can be a little bit complicated for newcomers. Other questions? Do not hesitate to jump on the stage or to ask the question in the talk page. Police had demanded a question. He a clean message, a clear message. Would you repeat a little bit on how to do it in a local language? Uh, what do you mean by a uh, local language? Do you mean a language where there is no yet any portal page or do you mean non-English?
I'm not sure. Yes, uh, I'm saying uh, non-English paid, like in Rwanda. So you don't have a portal at the moment, unless I'm wrong, yes. You have a, do you have a Rwandan wiki quote? Not yet. Uh, you are in the incubator? You. You're still in the incubator, okay. So here you really need to have a look to see at in particular what was being done last year on incubator. I wouldn't recommend to check to compare to what was, was being done in central Pickle and Tagalog because unless you speak the language, it's quite complicated. But at least the Igbo I was more able to follow. So to compare, Igbo last year was in uh, incubator and is no more. It's out of incubator now. So this is the page that they have they had last year. So what they did, they, they kept it fairly simple. They, um, because it's in, in the incubator, every page needs to have uh, this type of elements in advance before the article. So they created a portal page for this. Uh, this, they didn't even put anything. This one, they started immediately with the red list. Okay. So on the red, on this, they did only, I will answer to that afterwards, Utang. Uh, so what they did is they created a unique page, a unique central page. On this page, I think it was me actually, I don't remember, somebody added uh, a little navigation box, which you can probably reuse for yourself just as is, um, and they simply did a red list and they filled up the red list. So in this case, um, I didn't know that, why is it a view source? They protected it, weird, anyway. Hmm. Uh, so at the top here is the box that you can directly reuse as is. Uh, they put the logo and directly they have the list of the red list of article. So they didn't do anything more complicated than that to, to start it. And then every article they write uh, was below this W W I G I G I G and the name of the entry. Did you ever edit in the incubator already or not yet? I think it's not yet. Not I'm yet. Not so not yet. in the, all, all languages are in the incubator <laughs> to get, well, all the incubated languages are there. That means that they have a sort of special uh, portal page that is, the Ebo wiki quote at WQ, like wiki quote slash IG. So if you want to do the same thing, you will need to create a page called WQI slash RW. We can do it. Hop. Oh. I don't know if it needs to be approved or anything. We have the basics. Create, publish. I just, you are trying to create a page without a valid ISO or three D code. I don't know how the incubator works. Currently, perhaps you need, okay. My suggestion, um, uh, Clementine, is that you get in touch with the Toshi. Mm -hmm. and ask her because maybe it needs to be uh i can't get out of this it's not nothing is happening <laughs> <It's broken. laughs> okay uh, i'm going to close that thing uh, okay you need to get in touch with toshi i can't i can't tell you further because i i never created a new uh thing Okay, thank you. I will, I will ask uh, you. But once it's in there, what I know is that once you have your root uh, WQ slash uh, RW, then you can put your portal at this place and mm -hmm. you can put all the article over there. 
So for example, let's look at the Tagalog. How did they do it? Uh, oh, it's easier from there. What does that look like? Oh, in their case, what they chose to do is slightly different. They put the portal page on Meta. They put the portal page from here. So the explanation are on Meta. And then they created a landing page over there. And they did their special designs, which are really nice. Uh, and the posters. Uh, so all their explanation is on Meta in their case. Interesting. And three quote, English quote, translation, participation, list, how to add editing, list of articles. Where do they put the link to their portal? English here. Move to incubator. This is beyond me. Get in touch with the uh, with the uh, Toshi, okay? Oui. Yeah, for the incubator. I I don't know how it works. Um, what is the post the meaning of possible copyright infringement? So. Um, can you give me the specific link to the article where you got this uh, alert or tank, please? In the meanwhile, what I can explain is it's a bit touchy because a quote need to stay short. When it's short, it's authorized to quote it, even though the quote, for example, may be from a book which is copyrighted. If it's short, there is an, an exception to copyright that allows you to use it. But the short definition is, is unclear. It's a short, short, whatever. And short might depend on the language. So there might be a risk at this level. The second risk is that you are not allowed to um, collect an already existing database of citation and uh, of quotes and import into Wikiquote. Because there was, uh, even though the quote themselves can be used, the fact of selecting the quotes and ordering them in a certain manner is protected by, uh, by um, it, it's a creative act and it's also protected. A very long time ago, like, I don't know, 15 years ago, um, on the, wiki, the French wiki quote was basically a complete copy of an already existing quote um, website and we had to completely delete everything because we were infringing on the right of those who created that specific web or quote website. So it can be either one or both or the second. So let's have a check. Shippo Aran. Do you still see my screen? Can you confirm you see my screen? Yes, okay. Okay, that's a big, that's a big, big, big banner. That's okay. So what did you do? Shippo Aaron. Some of the old the previous version of the page seems to contain Detail will be added to the toilet page, fourth night. Okay. So the initial article looked like this. Okay. Shippo Aron is a founder of Kittel, a manufacturer, cosmetic manufacturer. So my first immediate feeling is that, does this guy have an, uh, an article on Wikipedia? 
So let me have, check that. <clears throat> so first, first reaction before any question of copyright infringement is this person doesn't have a Wikipedia article. This is a warning sign because in most cases for the English Wikipedia, we do not accept entries which do not have a Wikipedia article. And the main reason for that is really that the Wikicode people, they don't really want to get into notability issues. So they know that as soon as the article has been accepted on Wikipedia, then it's okay in terms of notability. If it hasn't yet been added to Wikipedia, maybe that's not a person that is welcome here. So here we don't know. If I put uh, the name of this person in Google, I find it's, it's not super optimistic. The first thing I find is their Twitter account, then the Facebook account, then the YouTube account. So all those are personal accounts. They do not, or they are not indicators of any notability. And then we have the LinkedIn account. And then we get into Business Weekly, which might be one. And then we get into the lioness. So the, the question here is whether these sources and women and rubies, is that sufficient to, um, uh, to uh, accept and consider that the person is notable enough? I have no idea myself, but if the article had been created first on Wikipedia, there could be a debate and then it could be seconded or not. So that, that would be my, my first comment. Uh, creating an entry without a Wikipedia entry first is always going to be a problem. Then, if we look more specifically in the text, what might be wrong? Um, quotes. So the second note I would have is that there is a mix of the quotes from the person and the quotes about the person. This, I don't know what this is, but this is not a quote. So in terms of structuring the info, the quotes from the person are here, all right? And this is probably the source, and then it needs to be under the quotes, not over the quotes, because it, this is not the way we structure things. We first put the quote, and then we source the quote. So at, at the minimum, this sentence, should be here, but all go for it. That's the first mention. The second note when I see that is that um, when we put, well, all the references go to Lioness of Africa. And I don't know that that's website. Lioness of Africa might be, uh, I don't know if it's a notable enough uh, publication. Um, maybe it is, maybe it is not, but it is certainly weird that all the quotes here are, men are listed or are sourced by only one website. And this website not being a huge publication such as, I don't know, uh, Le Monde, whatever, uh, it, it makes it appear as if this is actually not an entry about Shippo Aaron, this is actually a promotion and advertisement for Lioness of Africa. So my issue here is more like, uh, it, it seems Lioness of Africa is everywhere on this page, which shouldn't be the case. So for me, the problem is not so much that it looks like a copyright infringement, but it likes, looks like a promotion for Lioness of Africa. What did they put in their top page? to talk about it. I have to replace with a possible infringement with this page. So what happened is that you also used several quotes, all of them coming from a unique piece of text. So it might be on the limit, in particular, what is the length? Yeah, when I look at this, it doesn't really look like an article 
an independent article done by a mainstream journal. It looks like an interview done by a local newspaper. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like this. And it looks like since all the quotes come from this very article, it might be on the verge of infringing the right of this article in terms of length of uh, quotes or number of quotes. So for me, I don't think the problem is so much a, a question of copyright. It's mostly a problem of be, appearing too promotional. And I doubt this person is notable enough. I think the comment he should have put is that the problem with this article is not so much copyright infringement, is that we do not know what is the notability level of that person. Maybe to help you uh, figure out whether it's a good idea or not a good idea to create such article, try to create them on Wikipedia first. If they are immediately deleted, then probably don't belong there. Okay? Yeah. Um, and that's really a touchy one, but the safest, the safest orientation for you is to make sure that the Wikipedia article exists. All right. I think there were others that were listed on votes for deletion. Um, it was not the, the only ones. Uh, they should delete the archives from time to time. Is it probably the same type of person who did all those ones? Yes, yeah, same person. Lack of notability concerns with prod removed by article created without an explanation, Saturday. No article on the English Wikipedia, though red link exists in that place. Yeah, all those ones that are listed here, same problem. All those ones. It's not so much, it's not so much copyright problem is really notability. Okay. All right. Uh, is there another question or shall I move on? Okay, so let me show you just a couple of things. Um, once, once, once you're done writing the article, either either the article included at least one she said hashtag, or it definitely needs to be added um, in the list here, because. If there is no hashtag and it's not added here, it's really complicated to track them and to find them. That's where I suggested though the, the latest um, queries that were being done by, uh, his name is complicated. Uh, if you want to follow the queries, we have the queries listed here at the top or listed, uh, I only put one yesterday. It was yesterday, so it's very brand new, these queries. For Okay, to renew or try this one. Those are the old ones. So I want to show you again because there were some people not here at the beginning. I want to show you the latest super queries that we did. So if you go to the meta page, we have a bunch of pages, including resources and tools. Strongly suggest that you visit this page. In this page, you will find in particular queries that can help you to track what is being done. Uh, you can also use the dashboard for if you host small editors. Sorry. Um, there's also training material. There are some user boxes and barn stars. Uh, and there are all the some some postcards. There are some um, 
bookmarks, some stuff that I, um, I think can help you with if you want some of it in your language on your favorite biographies. Uh, this year I, I did uh, four of them, four languages. Let me show you. Uh, some of you got them either from Wikidaba or from um, the Wiki Convention Francophone. So I, I did four of them like this. Um, so this is this model. And if you want some in a specific for a specific biography that you enjoy, uh, get in touch with Afek. We have this, this is being done on Canva, and this can be fixed uh, for you, uh, or it can be a postcard as we did the first year. Though personally, I'm more a fan of bookmarks. Uh, so in this page, what is interesting is the brand new queries that we got just yesterday. So I haven't done them in all languages yet, only French and English to show you. Um, so there are three available queries that allows to track what is being done on the project. The first query is all the new article during three months. Um, and those are specific or language specific. So those are rather complicated queries, but they give you an ordered list of all articles in which she said was mentioned under, as a hashtag. Uh, you cannot, we, uh, there are individual owners of that, for, of, of that query. So you cannot rerun them. Only I can do it or the original author of the, the, of the quote of it can do it. But you can see here when it was executed the last time. So if it was executed just a couple of days before and you're more or less up to date, if it was executed one month before, uh, you need to up, up, update it. And the way to update it, I want to show you that because this is not so obvious. Again, this is, a simple uh, type of query that is on query, but with a description. And you can see it was created by DGM. But you cannot run it yourself. You don't have a button to run it yourself. Versus if I check the French one, which I created myself, this is this one. This is the same description. It was created by me. That's the same text. The only thing I change is here in the, the title of the query. And uh, I mentioned um, French. And here I said precisely that the quote should be run over the French language. So all of this was kept the same, but I changed here. I will show you how to do it. And the big difference is uh, I have here my list of articles in French, and I see that it was executed on Friday 25th, so it was yesterday. So you can do the same for your own queries, and the way you do it is that you go to this button, rather do it from the English one, so it's the original. So if you want to do yours in, I don't know, Italian, let's say, uh, or Ukrainian, or Igbo, I'm going to do Igbo. So I, what I do is I do fork. Fork is a duplication of the query. So I fork it and it gives me a brand new one. This is a fork and this is a fork I will do on Igbo. So I change the language code here. I change uh, the type of wiki code I want to look info from. Okay, I just change that and I submit query. That's all I, I need to do. Then the query is running, and then the query is giving me this list, which is 219 rows, upload Ebo wiki, wiki code because they really did a good job. So all of those have been created between the 1st of October. They do a, a big group together. Uh, one guy is dated as usual, all of them. Uh, and they have, they wrote 219 entries, but I, and this query was executed on Saturday, 26th of November. So you see, it's very, very recent. 
But this button, submit the query to update it, I am the only one with access to it. So if you want to do it in your own language, you go to one of those, you fork it, you change the title here, you change the, 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 the language code of the, of the query, and you run the quote, you run the thing. So all of those will be added here. So you have the three types of queries, which are interesting, and it is per language. So if you want to run your own, so you have the possibility to run it again by yourself, please do, do your own query as a fork of the original. Otherwise, I will add them for the different languages. The four queries available are the following. We have one, all the new article tagged, she said. It only needs one edit with the she said. The second one is all articles improved not created, but improved during that time um, in, in a, with the she said hashtag. And the third one is the list of all article created in the past few weeks. But I, as I explained a little bit earlier, this is a very uh, energy consuming query. So it's more complicated to use because we cannot run it on the entire three months because otherwise the system would just, you know, broke down. So when, if you want to use that query, you need to understand a little bit more about it uh, because you need to change not only the title, the code for the language, but you also need to change the timestamp. That's the pain. So the timestamp, I'm telling you just quickly for those who want to try, what you need is this, it's the, timestamp of the article between date one, date beginning, and date end. And the way the date is coded is first, the year, 2022, second, the month, 11, uh, the day, 01, and then this is hour and minute, maybe even second. So this query specifically runs between the 1st of November till the 1st of December, okay? So it's, it's run, it runs on three weeks. Uh, and here I mentioned, and this doesn't need to be changed. I need that in any cases, the beginning date is the first, uh, it should be the 1st of October, actually. Here it's the 1st of November. But if you want to run this own query yourself on your language, you need to toggle these dates to uh, keep them short. Um, this one, I think, it, yeah, it executed in 27 seconds. You don't really want to go beyond uh, above 45. It's quite, it's time uh, quite consuming. Whereas those one, see, they are super quick. They run in one second. So if you want to have a look and are comfortable with queries, just get there, have a look. It's on the meta page, resources and tools. Any question at this point? If you need to jump in, um, I can tell you what I intend to do uh, next few days. As I was saying, many people do not, do not, unfortunately do not add, she said, in the hashtag, in the, as a hashtag. So what I intend to do, and you can do the same with your team if they forget, is that if you see an article, which is obviously from the contest, but didn't have the hashtag, you can do what is called a dummy, a dummy uh, edit, just, just tiny edit add to, in, in order to add the thing. So in the case of Penny Richard, she always tagged her articles. So she did it once, and this is sufficient for tracking, okay? But if the person forgot to do it, uh, this is a list, in part I did it manually because I, I was desperate with people not adding, she said. So the other thing I can do if it's not listed, if it had not been listed here, I could do a, a very short, 
edit. And I would add, she said, in the edit button. So once I do that automatically, then it gets added to the list. So if you want to improve the situation, in particular for English, you can do that. Um, are there any questions for the English wiki quotes so that I can move on to the French one? Okay, hey, um, I have a question. Um, is there any way to, to track the missing quotes or the quotes who, which, uh, which have been not able to be under the hashtag? You mean uh, tracking the, the articles? Okay, I, I'm going to show you one example what we can do. Uh, if I look at this page, so about two or three days ago, I went through, I did it as well, which is nice. Uh, I went through a whole bunch of edition of articles that were improved over time. So let me check one. Yeah. Um, so Bonang, Bonang, Bonang Ugawelo. Uh, Bonang. So apparently Bonang. So Bonang from Botswana. I added it myself a couple of days ago because if you look here, Mrs. Lito, when she created the article, there's no, no hashtag here. Okay. And when she did the subsequent article, no hashtag either. And then UDS Scott, who is a, a Wikicode admin, he came and added the categories, okay? But still at this point, there was still no hashtag, she said. So this thing couldn't be added to the query. So what Jim did, it's just Jim, but I don't know, Jim should be fine. Okay, what Jim did is that he did some doomy, edit just to add uh, to make a little change in the article and adding she said so for example what he did he added he added one category just that but whilst he saved he added she said in it so we could very well go to, I don't know, he has been doing that a lot. So I don't know if we still have any that are not tagged, but if I were going to, okay, India Ari, if she had no, she said tag, I would go there and I would do just, I don't know, a little edit. Maybe I would say, this is not the right. This should be a little like this. And then when I do the summary, I add, she said. And once I save that, then it's recorded. That's what I call a dummy article, a, a dummy save. It's just a, a tiny pretense, but I take the opportunity to add, she said, in the summary. Once it added until the end of December, this will be counted easily. Okay. So we, we can do that to a bunch of uh, article. I will run through some of them. And uh, obviously, Jim has been doing lots of them. But see here, this one, no, she said, no, she said, no, she said, no, she said. So no one added this, she said. So here it is the goal to add something to this biography. And I don't know what it could be, but um, maybe, maybe the Grammy Awards have an entry. It's worth checking just to give me an idea of what I could add to the place. If I, is there a Grammy Awards? Fortunately, there's not, but maybe there is a category. Grammy Awards, so I could, I could identify some, some category that needs to be added. Whoa. Lots of Grammy Awards, actually. Uh, but for example, she could be 
she could be a, a people per award and I could say, okay, I'm going to add her as a people for award. I just put myself here. And I could say, okay, let's put her as a people for award. It's a bad idea actually to do it this way because I cannot put a comment in the box. But you see what I mean? I go to the edit, I do a whatever change, something change. And when I'm done with a tiny change, I put she said. Or taking the opportunity to tell you that in the um, in the queries, we we entered many way of writing it. So all of all of these, uh, she said, all of these will work. It's fine. Doesn't matter whether you put a uh, capital letter, not capital letter. It will work. It will be captured. So you're fine as long as it's she said. Is that clear? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Another question. Um, in case you're editing wiki quote in English, I highly recommend you follow the talk page. Because there's quite a lively discussion around there. Uh, so it can be worth it to look at what is being explained. Um, pardon, Florence, you said that it takes some days to be recorded on Wikicode. Can you repeat the question? You said that um, after tracking missing quotes and you add uh, she said as a hashtag, it takes some days to, to be recorded. Uh, so no, uh, well, it's only that, okay, let me show you the page. It's, it's, <laughs> People need to be aware that this is not automated. This is human. So the list here of new articles, it's added by human beings. So ideally, in, a, in the best of world, when somebody creates a new article, it will go there and add them to the list. That's the usual practice when we do such events. Uh, this type of, of work is frequently done on Women in Red, for example. The good practice is you created the article, you add it to this list. Now, the hashtag system is simply so that people do not, who do not do take the time to add them in the list. Uh, the article will be noted through the query. But the query, it's automatic. As soon as you made the edit, it will be captured by the query, but the addition to this list is manual. So if I don't come here for three weeks and no one comes here for three weeks to add them to the list, it will not be added to the list. At the moment, the two people who are doing it in English are pretty clearly myself and Jim. See here, yesterday he showed up and he, he ran the query and he looked and I said, oh, update versus query, one or two discrepancies between the two lists at the moment. And actually he made something that made me laugh because without, uh, I made a mistake at some point, I listed a man totally unrelated to the contest. <laughs> so he came to have fun of me because it was definitely a man. But yeah, the guy came, he went to the query, he looked at the query and he added by himself the name that were missing in the list but that's manual, so it's not automatic. And it's so much easy if, if the she said hashtag is added. In particular with the new queries he made, the new queries he made, as you notice, it's already with the brackets, it's already with the brackets, it's already ordered, and it's already unique entries. In the past, we had to do it, you know, to identify if the query, it was not in alphabetic order. We had to add the brackets. And if the entry was uh, modified 10 times, then it would appear 10 times in the query. So his query is excellent. It's, it's making tracking so much easier. Uh, and think about it if you want to run some other activities later using hashtag, this is a very good query. But we still need people to, do, to add the hashtag at least once in the, in the edit box. 
command box. All right. All right, thank you. Uh, let me show you how we do it in French because we do it differently. <laughs> and uh, it's at the same time easier and yeah, more complicated, I fear. Um, and that might inspire you. I don't really know how it is being done in every language. So I know it's being done differently in French, but I don't know for the other languages. So let me show you the example. We have a similar portal page, right? Uh, pretty much like the English people with um, some help information uh, and a creation box, just as in English, and a list of suggestions, red links, and a list of participants and a list of entries. Okay, so creation and modification. Uh, I don't think we are tracking the modification. Everybody's lazy on that. No, they're here. Well, no one is tracking them. Okay, so the big difference in the French word is that we are using a template to um, make the content nicer. So it's nicer, but then it means it's more complicated. So let's pick up an example. Susan Zontag. It seems to be exactly the same, right? It seems to be exactly the same. We have uh, the introduction, the quote, the source of the quote, the picture. Uh, we don't have the link to the Wikipedia article, we could. And then we have the category. But when you actually try to, um, just in case I'm going to check that this is the case of this one. Yes. So when we actually want to modify, I'm taking one example here to show you, to make sure that you see the difference. I take a whatever article in English, put, put, put. One article in English, Gislaine. So when I want to edit Gislaine in English, if I do edit source, it, the quotes, they are really very simply uh, um, formatted with the, the section and then some stars, bullet list, and that's it. We don't have more than that. The French people, they did it differently. They created a template, which is called citation. It's always the same. So there's a big template and all the quote is within this template. And they created several um, source templates. There are, I think, eight or nine. So for example, there is a template for books, there's a template for uh, movies and so on. So when a new person sees that, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit freaking out. They are freaking out. But if we modify it in the visual editor mode, like here, it may look the same, but when I click on it, I cannot edit directly. It will open me the model. So if I'm on this code and I click here, I have the model which is generated through citation. It's always the same, the same one being used. So I need to modify it. And then it's probably familiar to some of you. Um, we find, well, some entry boxes. So the citation in French, uh, the original citation is here. The translation is here. The language code, let's say Italian, and the precision like the date. And every single citation is being done this way. So same thing here. If I want to change that, same thing, I go to the citation model. And they also use a different citation, a different model for the source. So same thing, if I click on this, it uses a model which is called Ref Libre. Uh, Ref Libre, c'est a book reference. And when we modify it, same thing, we have the possibility to structure way better the title of the book, the author, the editor, the year of publishing, the page number, blah, blah, blah. So that means that in the end, 
usually we have way more information being added in sources in French language than in English, because we are led to add this information whilst we use a template. Instead of having just one bullet, bullet point where we say, ah, it was in New York Times uh, on the 3rd of November, 2022, done. Here, we will have to enter more information to source the data. Uh, there are currently, as I said, several different um, um, uh, templates for the sources. So it's good to know them, at least the most important one. But that also means that if I want to add citation, I will not just do like this, as we would do in English. What I will do is I have to insert a model. I will look for the name of the model, which is citation. This citation allows to add a citation. So I click on it. I have my original citation, uh, well, French citation. Uh, I need to change that definition because this one is, this is the French one and this is the original one, uh, original citation and so on, and the language and uh, whatever. I add it, so it adds me this. And then I need to add, same thing. I put myself here and I add the model for references. And here, if I click, Oh, sorry, so, so um, ref. Ref. In the ref, I have ref live, book, ref film, movie, uh, ref discord, um, public speaking, ref article, like a scientific article or whatever article. Then I click on it. And again, I need to add the title of the article, the author of the article the title of the publication, the date, all those fields are mandatory. So it's, it takes more time and the page number is mandatory as well. And I think that's it, but I could put DE and I insert, and then I will find my, my citation, my, my source. So it's really completely different from English where we put put a source in French, we need to put the templates. Of course, you need to know the templates, which makes it more complicated. So the way we did it in French is that when you click on the magic button, the magic entry thing here, if I want to enter Otang Afek, Afekish, that's her name. Or tank of British. Create. I will enter in the edit mode saying, oh, it doesn't exist yet. And then it will, oops, I, sorry, wrong move. Okay. Uh, it will offer me a already um, structured page where I need to enter things according to the templates. So I have my, my fake intro here, which I need to complete. And I have my a collection of citations that I want to add. So in this case, in this template, we put a, a, an example of a citation from a book, an example from a public speaking, an example from an article, an example from a TV, whatever. Uh, same thing, citation on the person, same context we are using. And in this case, you can see, there is the original quote in English, the new quote translated, uh, the source, the C also, whatever, the external links and the box. So it's a completely different system from the English one because we propose the model in visual editor mode. So it's better structured in the end, but it's more complicated to enter. Nothing is perfect. But that really means that for people who participate to, to the two different languages, it's, it's made quite a difference. We also have a, a, a default file and I can show you how to just put that. If I click on it, I enter with a template of files of images. And when I'm here, 
Well, I can um, change the image because there is none at the moment. And I will uh, put her, oh my, it's a wonderful image. I will say, yes, I use this one. And this one will become the image applied to my, temp to my entry. So it's a, a completely different approach. Uh, it's for, for the, I'm thinking in particular of the Rwandan people for a bilingual team. I think it's also interesting because on the English wiki quote, you can show them a creation of a content um, just you know using the basic info, just um, bullet points. And on the French wiki quote, you can show them, you can demonstrate the use of templates. So from a learning training perspective, it's interesting to have two different systems. Uh, from a practical perspective, if you ever have your random wiki code open, I would rather suggest that English um, is more straightforward and easier to use. Was I clear on this uh, French presentation with the templates? Thanks, Nadia. And you cannot edit the French one anyway. <laughs> but one day I could show you a presentation of templates so that you become an expert. Um, Uh, just in case, because sometimes it was a little bit confusing, uh, in the help to create the Nian tree, I put a link to the, the model for the person so that they, people can see what it should look like typically. And if you look at it, you will see as well that normally, normally same thing in French, there is this requirement to link to the Wikipedia page but I must say that in comparison to the English Wikipedia, this is less enforced. This obligation is less enforced. So it's a, a good practice, but it doesn't seem to be so mandatory than in French. So there we go. Um, <clears throat> this looks like the standard afterwards. Um, Afek would, I, I don't know if Afek is still around. Maybe not. We left, we lost her. Um, so I will not further comment on communication. Uh, Pelagia, Otan, Clementine, do you have any uh, last question? Euh, oui, en fait, je voulais vous demander à, à propos de la traduction, parce que je vois que les pages de Wikicote ne donnent pas l'accès sur la traduction. C'est ce que je me demandais. Si nous voulons faire dans les deux langues, ce qu'on peut faire, c'est bon, on peut créer les traductions en anglais. Je do the translation, but I don't know. I don't see the way to do it. I don't see the way to do it. Uh, so, um, attend, je vais translation. Yeah. Uh, Susan Zontag, mm -hmm. je crois que c'est le cas. Alors, for the French here, uh, uh, no translation. It's the same. French are lazy, just as the English thing. Uh, but let me show you an example. Yeah, this is the case here. Okay, so we have the case of Anna Hatherley with Portuguese. And if you look at the entry about her, there is the little intro. And in the quote, there is a citation in French. And below, there is the citation, the original citation in, in Portuguese. And in this case, okay. the source, it's also mentioned to be in Portuguese. And you have the different, uh, the different links. So here, 
uh, it feels like when it's English French, people don't really bother. But when it's in a different language mm. than English, they will also put the original, which is, I think, a good practice because those are very specific um, elements of text. And sometimes it's complicated to translate with the same type of spirit. So uh, mm. here, again, if we click on the model thing, so I'm in edit mode and I click on this and I modify it, you will have, it should, this, this translation I need to fix quickly. Uh, it's not the citation mm. brut, it's the French citation. So here the person put the, mm. the translation in, in French and here it put the citation, the original citation in Portuguese. And mm. in this case, of course, it mentions the, um, the fact it's it's in Portuguese originally. Um, there's also the question of, of writing who made the translation. Sometimes it's it's possible. It's not always possible, but sometimes it is possible. For example, if you uh, quote take some quotes from books, if you have the original version of the book and the translated version of the book, then you know the name of the translator because it's mentioned on mm. the book. Uh, also, if you are the one doing the translation, that might be worth it. So if, if you want to make such clarification, you can say, uh, traduit par la communauté Wikicode. Ou ton propre nom, mais uh, uh, mm. this, is, this is the way we, will, we, we would do it. In most cases, I do not see the name of the translator, but it's possible to put it there. And maybe that, that makes sense for some very special texts, uh, which were translated by many different people. I'm thinking, I don't know about the Bible or equivalent. Uh, some specific sentences were translated differently depending on the versions. So it might make sense to add precision about this. Mm. Yeah, c'est clair là pour la traduction. Uh, bon, mais bon, je voulais demander est-ce que nous utilisons Google Translate ou bien nous, nous utilisons que, quel mode de, tra, de faire la traduction Parce que je ne vois pas. Ah, c'est ce ouais, que je vais demander. Tu oui. sais, c'est manuel, hein C'est manuel. Et c'est manuel. Ah, ah, ouais. Okay. ah ouais, non, non, c'est manuel. C'est pas automatique. C'est pas. Non, okay, non, non, pas. non, 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 c'est pas automatique. Alors, mm. moi, des fois, j'utilise Google Translate. Mm. <laughs> the problem is that typically, this type of sentence by Google Translate, the, the result is terrible. Mm. <laughs> the result is often terrible. Mm. So, um, it's, it's, yeah, it's complicated. And that's also why I usually put the translation and the original quote at the same time, because I know the result will be bad. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody okay. can fix the translation afterwards. Yeah. Okay, merci beaucoup. No. Là, je comprends. Oui, merci. Uh, nothing automatic. No, mm. no translation. Okay, merci yeah. beaucoup. Dur, dur. Hein? <laughs> uh, <laughs> voilà, en gros, voilà. Et mm. euh, même chose, alors on, est, on est toujours sur le même concept. Hein, les... C'est toujours le même template qui est utilisé, le template auto-projet. Donc, uh, in fact, uh, once you know about five template names, you're good. You need to know citation, ref, ref livre, ref discourse, ref movie, and you need autre projet, and you can do about everything you, you need. Okay. Oh, just a, a little reminder here. It's, it's true on every single project, but I see the problem every year, all the time. When they use the autre mm. projet box, this is also true on mm. Wikipedia, they tend not to put category here. So it would it would go to the page of the person on comments if it exists, but it would not go to the category. So they need to add category here and they forgot all the time. So th this is a super, super, super frequent bug. Mm. Yeah, just to notice yep oh. 
On est bon, Clémentine Oui, c'est très bon de ma part. Je ne sais pas s'il y a une autre qui a une question, mais de ma part, ça va. Du non, reste, c'est le fait de beaucoup de pratiques. C'est la dernière en français, de toute façon. C'est la seule à mon groupe. Euh, J'ai monté un peu au Camerounais, euh... mais elle ne pouvait pas venir ce matin. Donc, j'aurais montré avant. Mmh. 